Hello, Lex. Do you want to play a game? This video is in partnership with the upcoming film, Jigsaw. How sick is that? Scary intro, excited intro. Life is a roller coaster of emotions right now. Like, let me explain to you. When I was in high school and I saw a new Saw film was coming out, I couldn't wait for it to go on DVD so I could watch it. If you were to ask me, Lex, what is your favorite horror franchise? The answer is Saw. I have every Saw movie in my house. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the reimagined Billy the Puppet makeup inspired by the newest movie in the Saw franchise, Jigsaw, which is coming out in theaters October 27th. I will be there. I am gonna be at the theater seeing this movie on October 27th. I will be at a theater. Like, going to see Jigsaw is the highlight of my Halloween this year. Now, not only is it super cool for me to be in partnership with Jigsaw for this video, but they're also giving us a promo code, which I'll put in the description, I'll put in the comments, so you guys can get discounted tickets to go see Jigsaw. Thank you so much to Jigsaw for partnering with me on this video, and as always, all the products that you say be listed somewhere around the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'm starting off by painting my face white and I'm not too concerned about having it not streaky or like super perfect because I'm going to mess it up by dabbing it on my face anyways. We want it to look kind of rough and peeling paint like. Using a very tiny detail brush and gray eyeshadow I'm then going in and drawing in all of my cracks. The easiest way to explain how to draw cracks on your face is basically drawing lightning bolts everywhere. And just to be more aware that you'd want to have more cracks around the movable parts of your face like around your eyes, around your mouth. And using my Jigsaw reference, I noticed that they very heavily concentrated around the wrinkles on the forehead, so I'm also definitely adding some depth to those guys. This is where things get a little tedious. Using literally the smallest brush I could possibly find, I'm then going into certain areas using black eyeshadow. These are going to be areas where paint has cracked off almost completely. This is mostly more so where the cracks connect to a corner of another crack. Going back in using gray eyeshadow, I'm then shading almost, not every, crack of actual paint using gray eyeshadow. This will just help separate the paint chips as well as give it a little more dimension than being so flat. I'm also using black eyeshadow to shade underneath my forehead wrinkles to make them more pronounced. Go ahead and prime your eyes and apply black shadow to both eyes. Lids. I lids. Going back to the smallest brush I could find ever, I went in with black body paints and added cracks all around my eyes. I then applied this body paint to my lid and a little bit underneath my eye, blending it around so it's significantly darker than the black shadow. With my brush being dry, I also use a little bit of leftover body paint just to add some depth to more of the cracks. Very satisfying removal of the swirls. Remove that little section just using water of your cheek spirals and fill them in using red body paint. Way too excited about this video, I need to chill. To continue some of the cracks from your face, use black eyeshadow in the swirls. Because I want somewhat of like a bleeding, messy kind of lip, I'm first filling in red eyeshadow around my lips. I'm then blending in black lipstick in the corner and filling it in using red lipstick. Also making this face is super weird but gives you nice cracks on your lips. Going back to the super tiny detail brush, you could add super tiny details using black body paint. And of course, don't forget to draw on your little puppet mouth using gray eyeshadow and black body paint. 
Let me know if you guys try out this look and don't forget to get your tickets to see Jigsaw October 27th, baby.